What is going on, guys? We thought we'd do a mini pod for you all today. Um, we have one of our clients here who will go by Jeremy. We'll call him Jeremy. Um, but Jeremy here took or did the Vegas boot camp for seven days in June. He came out with us in Phoenix and he got some really good results from some club game we were doing. Again, the stuff that we're teaching guys is not, nobody's teaching this. There's no secret formula, you know? You just gotta keep going. Make sure you're growing as a man, physically and mentally. That was cool, bro. We show you how to build legitimate attraction to the point where, you know, the chick is basically take like dragging you home instead of the other way around. So, um, yeah, so why don't you tell us, why don't you start, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm... He has the mic on us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sick. Sick planning, bro. Well, only um, slept with two girls um, prior to the boot camp, and uh, I don't go on much dates or anything. I just stay yeah. home all night, all day, yeah. and work. So, yeah. And I think one of the common questions is like, do looks matter? We got that on our Discord. So if you haven't joined that, join that. But one of the most common questions we get is, do looks matter? Does wealth matter? Does status matter? Yes, all that matters. Everything matters, obviously. Um, because the more of those things you have, the better, um, or the more the girl will overlook, right? Oh yeah, he's a little dorky, but he picked me up in a Ferrari. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, he's a little lame, but you know, he's friends with Jake Paul. Like it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't fucking matter. So the more of these things you have, the more they're willing to overlook. Um, so if you guys don't know, Ron's actually a multimillionaire. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so what is your what is your situation with, with those things, with wealth, with financial status, um, with looks? How would you describe yourself? Uh, average. Okay. Like below average, I would say, before the boot camp. Below so, average, yeah. before the boot camp. Um, and when you were talking to this chick, like, what were you thinking? What was going through your head? Because... Uh, I don't think I was going to close that night, so... That was, yeah. Yeah, I was... Uh, yeah, so... Um, a lot of self-doubt. Yeah, a lot of self-doubt. So what happened? I mean, we went out with you again the next day, like yesterday or two days ago, and you're much more confident. So how did that change your psyche? What did that do to you? Like, Oh, uh, it definitely boosts up my confidence Yeah. Um, after I slept with her, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah it was good. Um, what was the reason you texted me she liked you so much? Uh, yeah, see, um, I asked a question you guys um, told us to say oh, after. She said... Uh, I was um I was nice and what else? Well, what question do we, we tell you to ask her? Oh, why did you like me? Yeah, we like, we always want to ask girls like, well, why'd you like me or like why'd you hook up with me or like you know what I mean? It's not it's just kind of like that's gonna tell you a lot of what you're doing right and it kind of puts her on the spot like okay why do I like this guy? Um, so we we tell all our students to ask that you guys should ask that. Um, even if you don't close and you set up a second date, well, why'd you agree to come on a second date with me? And like, really understand what you're doing well. So what did she say when you asked her? Uh, she said I was kind and adorable. You are, bro. <laughs> <laughs> kind and adorable. Good to fly, bro. So at any point, did you feel like you were being different than who you are to yourself? Uh, no, I was just being myself. Right, right. So, um, yeah. We don't, again, we don't teach you to lie. You, Ron, have we ever told you to tell him a lie? No. Never. Guys, we, we never do that. Uh, but the results are there based on, I remember Ron was pulling up his notes it's on his Jeremy, phone. Bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry. Uh, Jeremy was pulling up his notes like halfway through the interaction or before. The one thing about Jeremy, though, is like he goes for the kill. Like We're like, dude, go talk to her. He just doesn't even hesitate. He just goes and, and, and does it. And, um... Was that your first interaction of the night, or what? Um, no, I had uh, other interactions before, oh, so but you know, during that night. But she's the one that um, no, liked that, me the most. So that was well. That was the first the time you ever took a girl home from the bar and slept with her. Oh uh, no, I took a I took a girl from the bar before, Did but I, I no, I didn't. I, pu I her pulled her. So I took her to her. <laughs> I took I took her to her apartment. She was in an open relationship, right. but. 
she was in an open relationship. Yeah, and her. Uh, Dude, that's work, wild. It wasn't Lena the, the plug, bro. <laughs> it wasn't Lena. He smashed Lena, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't sleep with her. She yeah. just kicked me out of her apartment. But yeah. this time, this is the first close. Wow. Actually closed, but yeah. And why do you think you closed this time? Um, I, I think uh, the boot camp helped and the lines you, you gave you guys yeah. gave me. Yeah. Um, I used some of your lines, like two, I think two, yeah, so, two or three lines. So nice. what was before this? What was the last time you slept with a chick? 2017. 2000. He's got that shit like written out. He's never gonna forget that last time. <laughs> it's etched in his mind. So that's six years. Yeah. So does it feel yeah. good to finally? Break that shit? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm like, uh, I thought I was like less of a man or something. And I'm like, I can't get no, but you're, you're enough, right? That made you realize uh, yeah, that you're I, I, I felt like I, I at least passed her, like, a girl's threshold. Like, yeah, like, exactly. Like, you know? if you think a lot of coaches will tell you to lie, oh, I'm a DJ, yeah. I'm a snowboarder, yeah. I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. You didn't have to do any of that. You don't have to. No. Like, because what you are is good enough. Like, yeah. A lot, especially a lot of these girls are just regular ass girls. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And um, again, guys, we've seen a lot of guys like ron who describe themselves the same way he does like below average right yeah ron jeremy that's a point yeah yeah ron jeremy. Like ron jeremy that's like that's what she liked the most bro. It was like humongous ron jeremy <laughs> fuck his ledgehammer bro um but yeah so we see a lot of guys like jeremy um succeed without having to change who they are and learning how to actually flow learning how to really understand the female to the point where she feels really comfortable around him and takes it further with him that, that same night um and that's because she feels like ron could be you know girls make girls aren't like oh yeah he's like a nine or ten girls are very binary it's like smash or pass yeah like i'm either gonna smash him or i'm not and um I mean, if, if you're a girl and you're watching this, let us know if that's the case. But for most of the time, that's how girls say it's like ma smash or pass. So you just have to be enough. And that's the mindset you guys should adopt is you're enough as a guy. You don't have to lie about who you are. You have to really, really, it's, 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 it's that's self-confidence in itself. Right. And I think, right. um, what's the biggest takeaway for you? Oh, that, um, I just need to pass a girl's threshold and I'm getting, at least clothes, cause I'm right now I'm like overweight and stuff and like, yeah. and um, I think I think that's one of my biggest insecurities being overweight. Yeah. Um, and I just got like hair transplant and it's like, yeah. and there's like a huge line in the back, but she yeah. didn't care, so yeah. I felt like it was enough. Yeah. Like and yeah, like, and I think uh, that's really important. She didn't care. Yeah. A lot of times, guys, we're the ones that build these mental roadblocks for ourselves. Like mm -hmm. we're the ones that care. Um, and it's that little voice in your head that, you know, that insecurity of that little voice translates into your actions, into your physicality, the way you handle yourself. Um, and most of the time girls don't even care. Like they, they will notice it, but they'll be like, ah, whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know, they just move on. Um, so you had those insecurities, Ron, how do you feel about those insecurities now that you were able to actually attract a girl? Uh, I felt a, a bit better than, uh, I did before. So I know I could like at least close. Yeah. Pulling clothes, so I just gotta be be myself and show my yeah. personality, and um, it's a little hook, man. Yeah, dude, that <laughs> Jeremy, uh, that's good, man. We were actually really. I, I remember I was talking to Brandon that night at the at the nightclub, and Brandon goes, "I don't give a fuck what happens like to our set. I want fucking Jeremy to pull in clothes tonight." Yeah, literally. And um. Yeah, dude, we were like so stoked on coaching you live right there and then. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how was the coaching? Like, what'd you notice? Like, what did you like that we were doing? How were we helping you? Um, I like how you guys were like when there was like there was a cock block, and I didn't know what to deal with that. I was, I was about to leave. Yeah. The interaction, but like um, you guys stepped in. Only kamikaze mode on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so the, the cock block wasn't a friend. Right. A, a girlfriend should never be a cock block. By the way, guys. A girlfriend should always be your number one supporter all the time. Like, if the girls don't approve of you being with her, then you're doing something very wrong. Um, don't look at them as an objection. In, in Jeremy's case, the cog block was another dude that was trying to take his girl away. And this is going to happen oftentimes because they, if you're a dude and we're very judgmental, we like to compare ourselves to other guys. Like, you look at a guy, oh, if he's pulling that, I can pull that. And this is going to happen to you guys all the time. So that's probably what happened in this situation, but... I don't know if Brandon wants to talk about that. 
Yeah, basically, um, I saw Ron with his girl at the bar, and um, I see him kind of not talking to her. I'm like, what's going on? And I look over, and then there's a guy uh, on the other side of his girl talking to her. Like, I think I think he bought her a drink or something or a shot. And I was like, oh, motherfucker, this ain't happening, bro. I was like, I put in too much work with this motherfucker. Um, so I basically just fucking went right in between them. <laughs> uh, Jeremy was next to his girl, and his girl was next to some other dude who was trying to steal the girl. So I just went right in between the girl and this other random dude. And I was like, yo, what up, dude? Like, and I just like totally blew him out. Um, and I just let Ron continue the set. Yeah. Um, but one thing I wanted to touch a little bit, too, was um, if, you th- if we weren't there, do you think you would have closed that set? Uh, no, de- definitely not. Right. So one thing that me and, and Jesse did was... Yeah. I, in the beginning of the night, we saw this. I saw this girl standing there, and I told Jeremy to approach her. And basically, every time we saw him stuck, I would distract the girl for two seconds, and Jesse would go in, in Jeremy's ear and give him little bits of advice. And that's, we did that for over the course of two or three hours until eventually she, was, she, wanted, um, she wanted Jeremy to take her home. What's up guys, Brandon here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to be a part of our Discord. Because that's where a lot of guys show their success. We answer questions, we post infields. That's where you're going to get huge value and part of our community to learn real game.